Well, day three of the Extinction Rebellion protests are underway and the protesters, protesters really have changed it up a gear or two. We're standing right now on Newfoundland Road, which, as you can see, is completely blocked. Just behind that police cordon, there are several protesters in a pink bathtub. And then to the left of me is quite a considerable build-up of traffic on Bond Street. Now, we've been speaking to people stuck in this traffic this morning. Some people here as many as two and a half, three hours. We spoke to one family who were hoping to get to a hospital appointment at the BRI. They were several hours late and they booked that appointment many, many months ago. Now, when we spoke to them, they were still actually fairly supportive of the protest, but still frustrated of how long they've had to be waiting. We spoke to one lady who worked in Debenhams. She was two over uh, three hours late for work but still didn't seem too angry about it. Now, as we've been standing here in the last few minutes, the police have really stepped it up a notch in terms of their removal of protesters in this area. I can see that the amount of people in the bathtub have been reduced considerably. In the last few minutes or so, people have been started to have been removed from the area. Police vans taking people to nearby police stations. But the protesters do still remain here on Newfoundland Road behind the police cordon right there. But we are going to be covering this story all day here on Bristol Live, so you can stay in touch with us on social media. We'd love to know your thoughts. We're going to be putting them to protesters a little later on in the day. But right now, the picture is here in central Bristol that traffic is building and building. People waiting more than three hours to get to where they need to be. The people in the bathtub remaining in their place. But that's how it looks here. We continue reporting here for today. Stay tuned. Well, the traffic here on Bond Street is moving over my shoulder right now. But don't let that fool you. The Extinction Rebellion protest remains in place. What the protesters are doing is stopping the traffic for seven-minute intervals and then letting uh, the people go through. We are currently in one of those stages right now. Uh, Bond Street is moving, but that traffic really is built up right down towards the M32. Now, the crowds here at the protest are looking lighter than they were this morning. Even in Somerset police, uh, police tweeted an hour ago to say that they were beginning arrests, and we've seen that happen too over the last hour or so. Much more proactive efforts are being made to remove protesters from that pink bathtub right there. You'll notice that a police cordon, a human police cordon, remains in place. Now, the police are quite cagey on what their actual purpose was. They mentioned to me something about safety, but wouldn't really uh, talk freely on why they were here. But the crowds are beginning to dwindle, like I mentioned. But we were speaking to some protesters a little earlier on. They said they've got lots more things planned for the rest of the day. We've seen some reports flying around that the protests might extend longer than the five days that was initially set out. So we'll obviously bring you that as we hear it. But we've been speaking to some of you on social media, our viewers, you've been getting in touch with your comments. And we've been hearing about people unable to attend graduations as the protests really cause disruption throughout the city. We've also been hearing of people unable to get to hospital appointments. So this is really causing quite considerable disruption and inconvenience to many people out there. But we'd like to know how you're feeling about it. Let us know on social media. But the protesters continue here in central Bristol. So do we. Stay tuned. Well, day three of the protest is underway. The Extinction Rebellion protesters have made their way out more into central Bristol, blocking off the M32 road in towards the city centre. You can see protesters both sides of the road here. Those over there are moving intermittently to let some cars through. But as we can see here, the traffic is building up. Let's come over to some of the waiting cars and see if we can get their opinion. Excuse me. Hi, we're from Bristol TV. Can you just give me your thoughts on what's going on today? Um, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's just an inconvenience, but... And are you inconvenienced today? Where are you hoping to get to right now? To Debenhams. To Debenhams. Is, is that where you're going to work? Yeah. Are your bosses aware that you might be a little bit late today? Yes. <laughs> and how late are you so far? Um, like two and a half hours. 
You're two and a half hours late, so you're fairly late. You, you're still supportive, though. Why is that? Uh, because, I don't know, climate change is a thing that needs to be thought about more. Excuse me, sir, can I just get your thoughts on what's going on today? Oh, I don't know. Something important, I think. I guess so. Sorry, sorry? Something important, isn't it's it? Important. Are, yeah. you, are you fairly inconvenienced today? Where are you hoping to get to now? Just around the corner. And how late are you for being there? Well, mate. <laughs> oh, three hours. Uh, yeah. Wow. Three hours. That's quite a lot of time that they've been waiting. We can see there the protesters just aren't moving. But let us know your thoughts on all of this. You can get in touch on social media. We are hashtag Bristol Live. After a day of disruption, Bristol begins to return to normal, or as normal as it can get, after several hours of traffic chaos in the centre here. This is Bond Street, which is one of the areas that was targeted by Extinction Rebellion protesters. They began their protest on Monday morning, and it was this morning that a pink bathtub was bolted to the floor, cutting off major routes into the city and the traffic chaos really did continue throughout the rest of the day. Over the course of the day, we were speaking to people stuck in the queues here on Bond Street and Newfoundland Road, many of them waiting several hours. We spoke to one family who were almost three hours late for a hospital appointment, one which they'd booked months previous. They weren't too happy to have been inconvenienced today. Also quite a considerable police presence. We saw a police blockade, a human barricade around the pink bathtub. And over the course of the day, some protesters were arrested and removed from the area. So we began to saw the crowds really dwindle. And it was only in the early afternoon that the efforts really stepped up a notch and police were using power tools to remove the bathtub, of which they eventually did. And and now the protesters have moved on back to their original site by Castle Park, where the protests will continue through to Friday. That's as much as we know now, but we'll keep bringing you updates right here on Bristol Live. But we'd like to know your thoughts and opinions on the Extinction Rebellion protest. Why don't you get in touch with us on social media and share your thoughts? You can use the hashtag Bristol Live, but with the Harbour Fest looming, lots of people within the city are nervous for what is still to come.